Hi and welcome to the Newcastle Spark Hellmore Triathlon. It's the 28th edition. My name's Jay Davis and I'll be your race director for the weekend. On behalf of H Events, we'd like to thank you for coming and joining us. This is not an easy race, but it certainly is a beautiful one. We really hope you enjoy. Please take note of this race briefing as there are some changes from previous years. Athletes, please note that your race will start at 9.45 from the Customs House Wharf opposite transition. Please do not enter the wharf until directed. Please ensure you have your timing chip on your left ankle, your swim cap on, and you allow sufficient time to walk to the swim start. This will be a deep water start and you will simply swim west to a point just 150 metres away and return until you exit at the Customs Wharf, opposite transition, staying left of the buoys. You will be swimming against the tide on the way out and with the tide on the return leg. When exiting, please ensure you have a good foothold and handhold on the scaffolding which will be below the water. If in any trouble, please wave your arm and our Surf Life Saving Water Safety will come to you. You will then cross Wharf Road as directed by marshals and run around the back of the transition area to your bike, remembering to have your helmet clipped up before taking bike from the rack. You will then follow the marshals and exit transition and mount after the mount line, which will be clearly marked. After mounting your bike after the mount line, you will proceed to ride east, keeping left at all times, and in a horseshoe beach road where you will do a wide U-turn and return to Wharf Road. Turning left, you will continue straight through the roundabout, noting a short, no passing zone behind Nobby's Pavilion, and follow Shortland Esplanade, paying attention to the speed humps, to a turn point just before the Zara Street roundabout. You will then return to Nobby's roundabout and then turn left and left again on the Fort Drive. Then right onto Nobby's Road, returning back onto Wharf Road via a left hand turn. You will then continue back to transition. You will complete three full laps. After leaving T2 as directed by marshals, you will cross Wharf Road and enter Old Tugberth Road where you will head east. You will then enter Horseshoe Beach Road and then around to Camp Shortland towards the break wall to a turn point approximately 400 metres along the break wall. You must stay right at all times. There is a ramp over the garden hazard, be sure to use that. The run then returns back towards the finish area. Enticer athletes, you will complete one lap. As you return back down Tugberth Road, you will continue straight under the finish arch for the finish of your race. Just a few safety aspects to take you through for the day. We are a COVID safe event. And for that reason, we ask that you limit spectators and socially distance at all times. It is not a face mask mandatory. However, if you're more comfortable with a face mask, please do so. Our aid stations will have unopened water bottles only due to our COVID safety requirements. You will be required to pick them up yourself. They will not be handed to you. Please be aware of that. Aid stations will be on the run course only. There will be no aid stations on the bike course. Our roads are closed, however, there may be an instance where a vehicle may still be present on the road. It is your responsibility to ensure the safety of yourself and others. There may also be some pedestrians crossing the road. Please be aware of that. On behalf of H Events, we wish you all a safe and enjoyable race. We can't wait to see you out there on race day. Good luck all.